suspended, and uh, we'll talk to him in between or after the songs get started. But for right now, here's Tilt Live on Calix. Hi. Professionals. Uh, lips, tits, hips. Let's try that again, Vince. <laughs> I got tired of that same old thing. So I How about doing the third, doing all three there, and then we'll stop from there and move on. Hey, how's it going? You guys are making it okay. You're kicking some butt. Okay, what's the third song, uh, Cinder? Right. It's called Past the Point from Almost Past the Point, or just Past the Point. Eh? From Kicking Your Butt. I can't hear you guys. I can't hear you. 
Oh, well. That's all right. They can hear us, and they know how we're messing up. I think we're punks. That's pretty good. All right. evidence why Tilt will never sell out. That, that's right, <laughs> and uh, that was yeah. Tilt, in case you're just tuning in wondering, what the heck is going on here? Station. You're listening to KLX Berkeley, and uh, hey. and this is yeah. this is Tilt. So uh, what we're going to do, is, were those all new songs here? Let wow, me... Uh, brand I'll let, new songs. Brand new songs? Let go. We'll tell you Remember's what, let, falling me, into the let everybody kit. crawl back into the station here from outside, and we'll hear this. An excellent triple bill is upcoming at San Francisco's Great American Music Hall, Monday night, September the 12th, headlining The Sneetches. Along with Mommy Heads. Love is like the sun. If you stare too long, your eyes burn up, and there's not enough seeing eye dogs to take me to your house. And the brilliant teens. This is a record release party for the Sneetches at the Great American Music Hall, 859 O'Farrell Street in San Francisco, Monday, September 12th. First band goes on around 9. This good thing is courtesy of the Great American Music Hall and KALX Berkeley. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Is it working or not? Well, I'll tell you the truth in all this excitement. Okay, I well, I'm, I'm, I'm Rick Sylvain, in case you're tuning in, and I'm we're person. listening to Being the Tilt here. Magnum, they the just, most powerful handgun there you go. The say say hi to Berkeley, Tilt. Oh. Oh. You, you get to ask yourself and what's, what's question. wrong with this picture? I see somebody <laughs> different that I don't know. <laughs> so, why don't you guys introduce yourself? So, Well, I'm Jeffrey. I'm playing guitar, and this is... Uh, Cinder Vox. Vinny Boy drums. I'm, I'm Gabe, and I don't live in Berkeley, and I'm not going to. Hmm, Gabe. He's the strange face. Yeah, well, Gabe's our new bass player because uh, uh, Pete quit us, as you probably know, to uh, um, to get married uh, this year and uh, or next year actually. But um, he's doing his other band. But now we uh, recruited uh, the ground round bass player uh, Gabe Moline from Santa Rosa. All right, and uh, he's, he sounds like a pretty good choice to me. It sounds like well, what I can hear from the ringing in my ears from standing next to the amp. And uh, is this? Uh, these are all new songs you just played. Yes, we'll, we'll play some new other new ones, too. We have a whole bunch of new songs We're, uh, that we'll actually be playing a bunch of them tomorrow night at Gilman Street. So come on down to that show if you want. Okay. You can see us walk the tight tightrope wire again to see if we can get through them without making a mistake. Ooh. <laughs> They're supposed to be like that. It's punk rock. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's playing with you tomorrow night at Gilman Street? Oh, uh, The Rudiments, One Man Running, uh, Criminal Intentions, and... Brain Transplant. Brain Transplant. Brain Transplant. Speaking Although, of Brain Transplant, we've got a head trauma over here, but no, we're not going to hear that. Right. So these are all new songs, so does that mean uh, we have a new single or possibly a whole... Whole new record. A whole 12 out. inches yeah. out here. 
Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, the new album will be out on Fat Records, and it'll probably we're looking at a January release, most likely. And we're we're guessing there'll be more than six songs, five songs? Oh, there'll be dozens. Well, no, you know, 12, 15 songs, something like that. So at, 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 the, at the length of our songs, that should make up for about 20 minutes of music. So. <laughs> well, you know, that's punk rock. Mm, and we got we got it? people yelling to people in the hall there. Okay, don't go too I far though. Rage against the machine. Oh, somebody just passed rock. us a bong. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now I'm now I'm I'm, I'm at liberty oh. to tell you you can't smoke that down here. Don't light that Other match. <sighs> Other way. Oh. And that's oh. tilt. <laughs> that's <laughs> tilt. Duck call it all. Oh, so we, you know we have I'm stuff. That duck we here. have stuff to give away if anybody wants it. We have. Uh, I mean, we'll 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 give some T-shirts away. We'll give some uh, passes away if anybody's li uh, listening. Or if you just um, think we suck. We'll we'll leave them with <laughs> with uh, with with uh, with Rick if he wants to dole them out and come down to the studio and pick them up. But uh, and we're not giving away CDs because we're tired of that CD. So yeah. but we'll give away T-shirts. <laughs> Okay, so, you heard him, just, Ed. Just hold your horse here. What's a good question to ask the second caller, perhaps? Uh, uh, what was our bass, old bass player's name? Okay. <laughs> or, or, or his, or our new bass player's nickname. What's our? <laughs> what was our old label? No, name, our, our, name one of the four members of Tilt, and we'll give you a T-shirt. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hear this, this cart, and we're gonna try to answer the flongs of phone, see if anybody gets the right answer, and. Then tilt to be played again in the studio Don't here at Kellex. Listen, Saturday, September 10th, to Women Hold Up Half the Sky, as Joan Jett and the Blackhearts are being featured. I couldn't, I couldn't understand why people were so negative uh, about uh, teenage girls playing rock and roll. Something as, as basic and simple as that. With your host Michelle, that's Women Hold Up Half the Sky, September 10th at 11 a.m. Joan Jett on KALX Berkeley. <laughs> If you need information on commuting to campus, bus and BART passes, or carpooling, call Berkeley Trip at 644-7665 or drop by their 2033 Center Street office in Berkeley. That's Berkeley Trip at 644-7665. Yeah, you're in tune with 90.7 FM. KALX Berkeley is 941 in the evening. Stay tuned for more live music here in the KALX studios by local band Tilt. It was many years ago that I first heard that music. It was sort of kind of, well, like, hmm, hard to describe. It was in a tiny basement cafe in the hip district of Timbuktu. I had to have it. I tried all the local record stores in Berkeley. I dug through huge bins of ancient discs, fought off deadly spiders, millipedes, and abnormal insects. I went to all the other campus radio stations' record swaps, swashbuckled with swarthy and evil record dealers. And then, there it was, like the giant 12-inch eye of the hungry kraken at a K-A-L-X record swap. Come to the Fall 1994 record swap on Sunday, September the 18th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Holly Ballroom, ASCC Building on the UC Berkeley campus. seen a t-shirt that would put hair on your chest since the Eisenhower administration? Well, get your fat ass out of that easy chair and design one for us. Your design should have the words KALX Berkeley 90.7 FM using a maximum of three colors. We're looking for camera-ready artwork, friends. Entries are due Friday, September the 2nd at 6 p.m., so send yours to KALX Radio, care of the office manager, 2311 Bowdoin Street, Berkeley, California, 94704, or call 510-642-1111 for more information. Look, between you and me, I I've already seen some of the designs by some of our other DJs, and well, don't yell at me if you don't like the Calyx t-shirt design this year, you lazy god. Well, all right. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. That trauma with version. 
Being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? <laughs> well, do you, punk? Head trauma with version. Head trauma with... Jesus. Head trauma with... Head trauma with version, Wednesday, 9 to midnight, on am Let's <laughs> Head Trauma with Version, Wednesday 9 to midnight on KALX. I just love KALX. This is Johnny Savage. I'm here helping out Rick Sylvain on a Friday night with uh, fabulous local band Tilt here in the studio. They're playing music for you and me. They're tomorrow night going to be on stage at Gilman with a whole slew of bands. They'd like to see you there. Gilman is at what? What is it? 9417? What's the address of nine Gilman? 924. Well, I had the 9 right. 924 Gilman Street, way down there and way, way, way West Berkeley, just off Highway 80. And um, they'd like to see you out there. It's cheap and lots of great bands play there all the time. Anyway, speaking of great bands, Tilt's going to play a few more songs, play their hearts out, and it's all free, and uh, we'll just roll into it and talk more with them uh, in a few, all right? Now hang on to your hats, because this is Tilt. next song is called Lean In Like a Barn. It's a Nebraska song. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, everybody, come up for air. This is KELX Berkeley. That's Tilt Live here in the Calix Studios. <laughs> I'm Rick Sylvain's friend. <laughs> uh, I'm Johnny, and uh, we're talking with uh, Cinder because she's the closest one to the mic. Hi. Yeah. How are you hanging in there? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. I can't get the beginnings to my songs right. I suck. But, you know. It's live. It's yeah. Calix Radio. Simultaneous, no delay <laughs> rock and roll radio. Um, Besides playing at Gilman, tomorrow night, what's happening with Tilt? You talked about a few minutes ago about the new album due out in January. Is it already done and recorded? Maybe Jeff could talk. Um, it, or both. Well, we did a demo. <laughs> I was just pacing, okay? <laughs> Baldy. Shut up. Uh, Jeff missed Pete, so he shaved his head today. Yeah. In honor of the old bass player. Yeah. People are going to think that, that, we, that we lost our guitar player and Pete switched to guitar. No, th okay, uh, no, it's not recorded yet. We recorded a demo. That sounds kind of bad. No, it sounds pretty good. Picky, but, uh, picky. It could be better. <laughs> Come on, Cinder. Come on, you big old nugget. It sounds great. It sounds real. The songs sound cool, but you know, the guy that recorded it. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that long ago that you guys went on a tour that took you east and northeast, right, and elsewhere. And uh, you also... Uh, well, what happened with that? You were support for Green Day. Yeah, it was the rock and roll tour. Was it fun? The zenith of my punk rock Having career. never gone on a tour like that, and probably most people out there haven't either. We got candy backstage every night. Yeah. <laughs> it was I in your. It was a rider in your contract. Every night. <laughs> when I uh, caught Green Day on Conan O'Brien, I noticed that uh, Trey, the drummer, had a tilt shirt on. Yeah. Were you guys in the audience for yeah, that we show? Yeah, I had purple hair. I was waving, but they just didn't put the camera on me. Because I heard a lot of familiar screaming in the background. Yeah. And I thought, I, I There was a whole row of us. But uh, a lot of people, you're going to be a, 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 in a place tomorrow night where a lot of people who are there really don't like uh, Green Day anymore. And I know that there are friends of yours and stuff. And it's kind of hard because it's a double-edged sword. You know, you want everybody to hear your music. But then when you do, a lot of big guys in suits have got to get involved if you're going to get up to that level. Right now, Green Day is up to that level. And uh, is it hard for you to be at Gilman when you're kind of like, you can see their side of it, but you kind of also see your friend's side of it? Um, no, because I usually don't think that much. I think people think too much about stuff like that. I don't know. They shouldn't worry so much. You know. Yeah, I don't know. People, I don't. I people, don't. Go people ahead. make th people make decisions for themselves. They're gonna have to like, uh, you know, they they just let other people uh, live with their own decisions and just live 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 your own life rather than worrying about the way other people are living their life. As long as it's not fucking you over. <laughs> <gasps> or anything like that. <laughs> and you know they're they're making a living off of the, off of what they love to do, and I can't knock I can't knock anyone. For, I mean that's isn't that any artist's aspiration to be able to exactly. or anyone's aspiration to be able to make a living at what they love to do, and not, you know right on uh, more power to them. No, who knows how long they'll be up there on right. top? You know, what are people gonna spit on them when they see them? You know, five years from now and they're they're over the hill or something. Right. Of course they probably won't be, but you know what I mean. It's right. like. Uh, you know, worry about your own stuff before you start going and judging other people's stuff, you know. And I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, they don't have to worry about Tilt because I'm judging other people's stuff, you know. And I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, they don't have to worry about Tilt because I can't even get through a song all the way through without messing up. Well, I think there's a lot of pressure involved when <laughs> so you I'm get... I'm not going to get signed. ...when you get popular. That's what I, what I was going to lead into. I think you're a good band, and, and a lot of bands that are making the kind of sounds that you guys are making are... Uh, getting approached by labels and whatnot, and do you think, are you guys ready if somebody comes up to you and goes, hey, we'll do this for you? I mean, are you, are you basically going to be uh, pretty hard-nosed about uh, what you decide to do if you get to that point? Here's Gabe. Well, there's a lot of talking going out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> right. I mean, people, people can say that they'll do stuff for us, and people can say that they're looking out for our best interests and they'll take care of us. Um, a lot of those people don't really know us, and... We'll take the free dinner until we, you know, until we can find someone who we trust. But um, there's not a lot of them out there, so I think we're really skeptical. Yeah. Even you know. in the independent world, it's even. Totally. Yeah. And especially after the Green Day tour, because we met a lot of those people, you know, and they turned out to be everything that they were purported to be. They were just kind of scumbags. Dustry rides again. And so, Dustry rides again. Industry. We have our own lingo. But anyway, you know, it's like, ah. Uh, hell with those guys talk music uh, how does Tilt does, does the band do the music and Cinder you write the lyrics or what 
I write, I write the lyrics. Um, when Pete was in the band, he wrote a couple of songs full of lyrics, and policy is pretty much uh, whoever writes the lyrics sings the lead. Hopefully Gabe will write a couple songs, so I won't have to have the entire burden. But the musical stuff is shared. Believe it or not, like me and Jeff write these write these songs on country guitars sitting on picnic tables in the park while these kids are playing basketball behind us. Usually Jeff comes up with these really out there things because he's real like right-brained when it comes to music and then I say, well, what if we tried this instead because I'm more like musical theory oriented. No, it's more wow. Like, no, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, what's her name? My third grade music teacher would never do that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, you've been in the band for how long now? Like a matter of months, two or three. Where'd you come from? Were you in, a, in other bands before too? I'm still in um, Grand Round, in fact. We, uh, we recorded last night and we still plan to go on as usual. Um, so you, you basically are a kind of guy that never sleeps. Yeah, yeah, All except right. at the wheel. Except for at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I crashed my car the other night. He rolled his car. Oh, no. no upside down, sure. going like 70 miles an hour, and it was like so completely so scary. Fun. So all you listeners out there, We're so glad it was meant. Don't to be, be too proud to there. pull over. Gabe will not drive the tour van ever. <laughs> <laughs> not at night. Not at night, or maybe even during the late afternoon. Uh, my name's Johnny. This station is KALX FM, broadcasting from the University of California. It's about five to ten. Uh, we'll read the ride finder at some point, but. We got to do some more live music from Tilt. We're going to let them get uh, uh, back settled into their live playing positions, and then we'll be right back with more live Tilt on the Rick Sylvain Show. If you're a cow. And KALX Berkeley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is CalX, and it's about 10 o'clock in the evening, a few, a hair or two, let's say 180 seconds before 10. Rick Sylvain Show, Johnny Savage kind of uh, keeping the ship from sinking here. Uh, and we're going to get back into what you want to say something? Um, no, this no, is. Go ahead. I was just, oh, I was yeah. just getting close to her. Cinder and Jeff are, are discussing Don't get too close discussing to potty mouth and smell. <laughs> anyway, um, they're going to play a couple more songs and then we'll talk to them a bit more. One and more. then Rick Sylvain will go one more. Yeah, are we going to play two or one? Yeah. I wouldn't mind hearing two more, but it's well, why don't we why don't we play Berkeley Pier and then uh, if someone wants to Berkeley hear confines, they can call in. No, okay. wait, wait, what's the name of your drummer again? Vince. Vince. Vinny. Vinny. I want to say hi to Vinny because he, his drum set, for those of you who can't see, which is probably most of you out there, is in the doorway of our hall and he's thrashing away. I hope you can hear him out there. That's him. And um, what, yeah, Jeff? Well, no, we'll play this song, uh, Berkeley Pier. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a, a sappy love song. Excellent. And, uh, and we have a wonderful uh, guest uh, harmonica player just walked in well, the studio. Where is he? Uh, Eggplant, the, the, the eggplant, come eggplant. over here. You're gonna like, do it's a, a little blues improv. jam, baby. This is unrehearsed. Blonde melon eggplant, you. <laughs> You'll be right there, and hold on a sec. Okay, let me get set up, and we're it's live to it with the uh, eggplant on harmonica, only on the calyx. Give me a sec. It's called Berkeley Pier. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> All right, rock and roll. Go for whole days at a time without ever thinking of you and ask myself why, baby, why? But then I find myself on that same old damn piece of road and wind up down by the water. No, that's not you, and that's not me, but that pair of lovers look like we used to be, strolling on the dock, warm in each other's arms, counting the lights on the
at West Bayside. Flashing a signal to me. Down by Pier 39. Cause if I only knew, I'd jump in that water and swim straight across. Drown it in my relief. Here comes a Romeo. And a sweet punk rock, Juliet. Now they have no recollection of heartbreak they don't have yet. Murmuring dreams to each other, oblivious to the golden gates. Passing me, I'm just a stranger. My apologies to music in general. <laughs> that that was uh, Eggplant on Harmonica. Rick Sylvain is actually what back at the name? mic. What was the name of that song? Berkeley Pier. Berkeley Pier, and that's where everyone looking for the right finder can go until these guys are done, until Tilt's finished. Right finder. Jump off of Berkeley Pier. <laughs> right finder comes up following Tilt's appearance here live on KALX FM. And uh, one more live song from you guys, okay? And then we'll. Uh, Say goodbye. We'll this is Tilt live on KLX. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'm an honest woman, a representative of the state of mutual confusion within the confines of love. Happy minute, darling, embedded in my arms. I'll take a kiss to settle payment like a song for the gods. Wowee. Wow. That's Tilt. This is KELX FM, Tilt Live. And uh, let me remind you, if you liked what you just heard for the last half hour, Tilt will be performing at Gilman Club. That's 924 Gilman Street, Berkeley, California. It's a few blocks west of San Pablo Avenue. You can get there by bus if you don't have a car. And I want to thank... And, and if you don't know where it is, don't come. 
That, that's actually uh, good oh, advice. That's so elitist. <laughs> but it's probably safer. It was a joke. Thanks to Vinny. Thanks to Jeff. Thanks to Gabe. And of hey, there's Vinny. <laughs> well, gee, I just like to say that. Gosh, I love all the guys in my band. You know, one of them's a girl. I have latent <laughs> feelings about her as well. Woo! Woo. Well, Did tell. Mainly Jeff. That's what a drummer Jeff, rub sounds your like. big bald head against this microphone here. Let me see what it sounds like on the air. Pete, we miss you anyway. Uh, to all our fans, just because we're playing on the radio um, in support of our show does not mean that we are total cheese balls. Yeah, it does. I'm a cheese ball. <laughs> anyway, thanks to Till. See them tomorrow night. Are there any other upcoming shows you can talk about, or is that the only one you know of right now? Well, actually, uh, we're playing the 17th of uh, September in San Jose with the Tourettes. That's going to be a rocking show. I don't know where that is. It's an all-ages hall. And then we're playing at the other all-ages venue in San Francisco on the 30th at Club Commotion with uh, the return show, uh, return, returning from tour with the Swinging Utters. So they're just getting back from tour, yeah. and, and wow. so that'll be a rocking show as well. So... I believe that's a Food Not Bombs benefit, too, yes. so that supports a very worthy cause. Besides uh, tilt. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for coming in. We appreciate you bashing it out, and I think you're a great band, and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for the help, John. Thanks. You're beautiful. Don't don't go changing just to try to please me. <laughs> do you know the, do you know the name of your new album? What's it going to be? Uh, the album hasn't been born yet. It'll be called New Album. <laughs> I, I know where that, that's already been used. This is the Rick Sylvain Show. I'm Johnny, and Rick will be back uh, after a few moments of music. Oh, and then we ha oh, we'll do the Ride Finder. Well, All right. Sooner or later, yeah. yeah, sooner or later. Here's a group, uh, G Love and Special Sauce. Taped in the station. Taped in the station, a song called That's All Right, exclusively on KALX. <laughs> So I'm gonna go. We're hey. till. What kind of what, What's what are the notes? That we're till. You're listening to K A L X Berkeley. We'll go K A L X Berkeley. K. We're till. You're listening to K. So I'm going to go. Word. Okay.